that's all level now. Hefty lump of concrete going in here. That's quite, quite deep. So, Steve's just pulled up now. I don't know if you can see. He's just over the fence, so we're gonna hopefully get all this crap moved now. So we'll see how much we can get, and then anything, if there's anything left, I just have to go and skip, but that's fine. So let's uh, set you up a time lapse while the magic happens. There he goes. Sorry about you couldn't see the end part, the GoPro over it. There he goes. Couldn't get the last part in unfortunately, the uh, camera overheated. <laughs> but there we go. Good old Steve has uh, got it all gone again. Like Dad said, it's always satisfying when the when the shit goes. So again, thank you very much, Jane Napier. Always our our favourite grab hire. So there you go, there's that big pile of crap gone. And obviously uh, we've kept that part because we're gonna use most of that for backfilling. We're gonna backfill the outside with that, so anything that's left over, we can just toss it in the skip. Same with all the stuff on the inside, that's gonna be for hardcore, so that's why we didn't need a, uh, a ton or anything of Steve. So there we go, thank you very much, Steve. And the other Steve has been busy getting this ready. Go on, how, how deep down is it? 1450 to damp to that little, the lowest point there. So from damp, from damp to the lowest point, 1450. That is the concrete for the manhole. The, that's the bottom course of the manhole. It's just solid, I'm not taking that out. Yeah. And then we're going to put a board across here, we're gonna fix it with a couple of screws and put a bit of foam in it so it's sealed so the concrete's not getting in. And then on the other side, we're just going to backfill it once I've fixed that. I'm going to mix a bit of concrete in that, bed it in concrete, and encase it in concrete. Then tomorrow we'll backfill it, bury it. Do you want to just um, use the concrete we're going to get? No, because I've been messing around with that and they'll be putting the concrete in here, won't they? I can get at it at the moment, it's nothing in my way. That was difficult that this morning, climbing inside that. It was a big chamber, it's not really big for working. Okay, so there you go, there's that pipe. A pointless manhole. So, building inspector said, repair that, bury it. Which we're quite happy to do. So we're just measuring up for our concrete now. So we're going to, be, we're going to be quite a bit extra in here. But this is digging down to the invert for that pipe. That's been left in because that's good clay. So that's it for now. Time is it?
Oh, sorry. Should we leave the digging stuff here? Yeah, in case we need to again. Just leave it over there or something. But we need you to film it now. Three o'clock. Right, we'll definitely get to film now. So off to Fairwoods we go, so we will see you tomorrow for concrete. Uh, big thank you, to, big thank you to Jason for saving our skins, doing half that dig. While we were hissing about with all that, he got all that done and all this. So, as always, thank you, Jason. So yeah, so we'll catch you tomorrow for the rest of this, leveling, concreting, and uh, loading out some materials. Happy Friday, Friday the second of June. And day four at the extension job, well, conservatory stroke extension. So there you go. That is, I think we measured it's 1450, 1500 from damp down to there. We've dug down to the inverter the pipe, then we stepped up here. I think there's still a good 450 of concrete up to 400 up there, all the way around. It's going to be a lot of concrete goes in there. Got a piece of ply brought that to put across there because we don't need to concrete into that so that's going to get screwed onto there a bit of foam to seal it and then um, that's getting backfilled once I've repaired that let me just see if I'm pointing in the right place once I've repaired that little branch there completely pointless but we'll get it done oh yeah there's the pipe <laughs> wonder where I put it then mm. there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix sand and cement, strong 3 to 1 mix, bed it into the sand and cement and then cover it over with sand and cement so it's all punched over, so it's some stones in it so it's got a bit of strength in it and then it's ready for backfilling. It's, there's nothing, nothing comes through it, we've tried all the pipes, it's not a soil pipe, we've tried all the gullies so it's just belt and braces just making sure. Um, what else have we got to do today? We've got to put the nails in for the levels, concrete's coming this afternoon. Here's the uh, all the muck gone. That's always nice to see because that was a big pile of muck. I was a bit worried there was going to be a, it wouldn't fit it all on. Still got a couple of ton there, but we've got a backfill around the edge of this once we're finished. Uh, drains have got to be reinstated all the way around because they need a gully for this end because it's got a lot of water to take off these roofs. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, we've got plenty, plenty of stone. To, for our backfill, it's all been scraped off down long enough, level uh, low enough, so that's ready for spreading back out. We might need another ton, maybe, but with that, I can come over the fence and split the bag. Um, what else have we got to do, Alex? Uh, oh, Selco this afternoon to pick up some insulation boards. Oh, we're going to deliver to see what they say. Yeah, uh, look at another job. I've been busy looking at jobs lately, but look at this. What a day. Not been a drop of rain for weeks. No. Uh, um, which is always a relief when you're doing foundations. There's the old footing. Let me just uh, jump in, Alex, and just, uh, just show them the, how thick it was and where the, where the reinforcement was. Yeah. There is. Oh. Uh, the mic. buzzed. This might not be working. It's recording. I uh, hope it's still working. So. Can you hear me now? There's the uh, reinforcing that you can see here, and then thankfully that was more or less at the bottom because there's the rest of it from here to about there. And it was deeper in other spots. Yeah, here it was at its deepest, like in some places. Oh yeah, show them depth, how far down the extension concrete goes, and how how much we've gone under it. And yeah. Three, so, three oh three Jesus. Three quarters from down. So, three quarters from damp, there's the foundation, and there's how far we've gone. Well, we. Dad, Dad and Jason did all this bit. Dad, while we were, uh, while me and Jason were getting the muck moved at the grab, Dad got all this finished off, so. Yeah, the manhole <laughs> protruded into where our wall's gonna go, so we didn't want to be building on top of the manhole, so we cut it back so we can get concrete in. Happy days. And then while Dad's making the cuts and all that, I'll get the van gutted out with the stuff that we need so we can get that uh, insulation in. If we need be. So far we're having the weekend off. As it seems, yeah. I think we need one after all this. <laughs> At least. I'm knackered after this, it's really done me in. So yeah, I'll uh, hand you back to Dad and I'll uh, start getting this van done. Oh yeah, quick one. 
It was 300 mil of concrete, reinforced, but it wasn't very deep and it was on a load of shite. So he'd gone to all that trouble of reinforcing it, but the ground, he hadn't gone deep enough with it. As you can see, we've gone through the crap into the clay. And we're 650, minimum 650 wide, some of it's 700, so it's got a really good spread under the foundation. And it's, um, we've got a block pillar, four metre opening, block pillar, solid block wall. So it's just two walls and a door, really, a big door. Update from down the hole. A hole so deep I need ladders to get into it, but then I need ladders to get into bed at the moment, my hip. Um there you go, shuttering's on. It's pretty strong because it's against the brickwork. So it's not gonna push anywhere. We're gonna put a few buckets of stone down here, but it's, there's a lip there as well, it's gonna stop the pushing. Um, pipe's fixed. We've just dropped a piece of plastic, spliced a piece in there, sealed it in with con uh, very strong sand and cement. I'm going to put a few buckets of uh, stone down here. We bought a tube of expanding foam. Never used this stuff before. I think I paid four quid for that. Thought, that's not bad. And that's it. Did one side and ran out. But that's the ropey side with the big holes. So that's sealed. This side we ran out obviously, but the gap is next. You won't even fit the stones through that gap. So we might just get a bit of water coming in there when the concrete goes in and then I might just put a piece of timber here just to brace this because it's only thin ply and it's quite a, quite a hefty lump of concrete going in here it's quite quite deep so um yeah then we'll just like I said got a piece of timber in here just to stop it crushing at the top and then What's next, Al? Oh, get the levels in? Yep. Cool. Here comes my glamorous assistant. Try and keep it away from that pipe so that's going off. There we go. Hello. Hi. I'll come down a bit. <coughs> right, got a couple of marks here. This is our DPC level and the extension. This is where we kick off from. It's not level, it runs down at the other end. This is our floor level. So instead of messing out with bits of timber for the floor, we're just going to build a block work up to that and then cut the first course. We did that on the last extension, it worked out a bit better. Yeah. So we've worked our gauge out, which is 525 is a course of trench and four course of brick. So that's 225 plus 300. Now, I've set it at 21 inches, which gives us about 10 mil to play with. It makes the concrete 10 mil low, which is better low. You don't want to start cutting trench blocks. You don't want tight beds on trench blocks either. No. So, I'll show you that again. 
so that level is currently against the clay. Hold that level. Measure that up. You see it's 21. Can you get on close? So that's 21 at DPC. So now, Alex, while I've held the level, he's put the staff on. There you go. So that's our level now. So what that means is for those of you who don't use these things a lot. That bottom of that staff is the level line of our concrete. So what we do now is we follow around and just put the staff against the side of the trench until it's we get the the, the um, what's it called flat line. Stick a nail in, put a bit of spray on it, and that's our level to follow. Then we don't put pegs in there anymore because I, I just think a piece of timber in the middle of the concrete weakens the concrete. Some for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers. Ooh, drinks arrived. So yeah, that's that's what that's what we're doing now. So we're gonna that that's gonna be a level line all the way around. We're gonna put them both sides wherever we can get them in. And that is ready for concrete then. So we'll stick it on time, that's probably get this done. And then uh, we'll move around as we go. Happy Friday. Oh, Let's get these levels in. That's how good bloody clay soil it is, you have to hammer the bloody nails in. Yeah. Look we have the machine on this side. Yeah. Get one more in and then mark it on the wall. So there you go. Two, three, a couple of extras in the corners because you can always lose your level easy in the corners. And then we alternate to going down the trench. There. 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 Put the line marks on the, the um, what you call it, and then the concrete just kisses underneath that concrete there. We'll let that bit go a bit high actually so it c catches the concrete. So, yes, yeah, nice deep concrete that, nice and wide, ready to go. And it'll be tied into the old one as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we'll get, get probably get one on this corner and get the, the wall marked, and then that, we're done. Got a drink, haven't we?
you need is um, the spirit level to mount level across to the wall. You'll be lucky if that goes in. Oh, till today. Into the block. Yeah. That should be 75mm that. More or less. That looks it. Cool. Put one here. Yeah. Play it safe. For a break. Just chuck me a tape measure please Alan, get out. And chuck me the ladders back in. <laughs> that was one tough three days that. I think conservatory, two walls, ish bosh bang, down in two days, no problem. How long we were. I think now if we're taking something existing out we need to price three days to play it safe. Yeah, definitely. Because if they end up being reinforced again, yeah, that was a t that was tough. But by this afternoon, I'll have concrete in here so we can relax a bit then and have a weekend away. Not well, a weekend away from work. <laughs> well, Good. I'll, Good be, I'll be editing and pricing jobs, but I'll be relaxing at home. That's the main thing. But yeah, see you after break. Right, I'm back for a quick one. Uh, there's our obviously there's all our levels, so we can get our depths and everything now, so we can work out what our concrete's going to be. I originally had it a course higher, but it's coming out over three meters and it's getting shockingly expensive there. So what I've done is I've dropped everything down a course. So we'll have a course of trench, four course of face brick on the outside. On the inside we'll have a course of seven newton concrete blocks and a course of com commons. So that sorts all that out. We might have to change those commons to um, 73s or do away with them all together and put a block on edge because we've got to pick up. Got to pick up that 30, maybe 40 mil there, so I'll have to have a think about that. That might, we might end up just cutting some blocks for that. Anyway, back to the, uh, the the subject in hand. So what what I do is to measure to check the. So what I do to work out the concrete is measure from the wall to the uh, to the bank. So that's so basically we're measuring this section, this whole end section, to the and that. 3.3 by 6.650 which is the width by 0.310 which is the depth that is pretty level that that gives us 0.67 next one we measure from here and we measure back because it's a bit of a weird dig here we measure to the lip there stop there and we get quite a bit deeper here we're down to 4.30 here now so that one's just four meters in length by 700 wide because we've gone a bit wider across the front and then it's 380 is the average depth which is roughly 380 is roughly in the middle and how you work that out is you measure your three 310 your 430 you add them together which gives you a um, can't remember what the number is let me do it on Dave so I think it's 0.320 plus Point four thirty, so that's your, your, your lowest depth to your deepest depth equals gives you 0.75 so you divide that by two that gives you average depth which is 0.375 that just rounds up to 380 so that, that's how you get your average depth because it's because it's on a slope so we've got four meters by 0.700 wide by 0.380 deep gives us 1.1 so this section from here to the drop is 1.1 and then the drop bit is 1.4 long to the step 650 wide so it might even be slightly thinner at the end there but that's fine and then it's 900 deep and I've measured down to the, the lowest point so it, it, this is there'll be less concrete than I've worked out for this that comes out to 0.8 so that's not far of a cube just for that end part so you add all them together, gives you 2.6 cube. 
so that's what we'll be asking for 2.6 it's always slightly over his footings because you, you can't be sure exactly so if we can keep it under three meters i'll be happy i did originally uh, this was originally quoted for 750 deep with uh, 1.6 cube of concrete like but um as things progressed we've got the extra labor and the extra depth so it's going to be slightly dear on the concrete and then a bit extra on the labor but this is what happens when you're doing foundations you don't know what you're going to find so you have to let them know there could be extra cost involved when you start digging sometimes you're up to 900 pounds yeah what well, can be more than that sometimes you go on a job and it needs piling yeah, two grand then minimum it's like what do you do do you fill it back in or do you carry on and a lot of people have, have um, budgeted to the penny to the to the job and then two, yeah. two grand just goes on top of it it's out of the question so yeah there's our workings out that's what we're getting hopefully this afternoon early um yeah that's it let's go have a break there we go concrete's arrived so full steam ahead i think i'll get a bit of this crap moved so they're not on that much and then dad'll get raking so we'll get you, we'll get you set up go where's all that hard work gone I was just aiming it. once uh, once that concrete's in you'll never see the suffering that we had to endure nails that was explained how the levels were before I think we can yeah they're a bit uh, they're a bit encased in concrete but you can see that's our nail point so they well, should be you can be... see the nail like, it, it's just slightly above that's why you put these red stripes up here so if your concrete goes over your nail you know where to find it to check the concrete down to put the nail back up yeah, there's another one. But there we go. That's that awful dig buried away in concrete. And that manhole's been filled up and a bit of leftover concrete's just gone there too. So that'll get filled up properly next time. But for now, that is us done. So next time you see us will be the next video where we're getting materials. That's going to be fun. There you go. There's the title. Yep, yeah, same place where Steve uh, picked up the crap, all the goods are going to get dropped off, so... Right, this is uh, intro part two. Right, this is intro part two, so I'll hand you over to Alex. We outro. Sorry. This is outro part two, so I'll hand you over to Alex over there. There you are. Um, oh. I'm doing the whole thing again. Oh, I see. Oh, I thought you were going to be the cameraman then. <laughs> so, there we have it. That is three days digging, gone. Buried. You'll never see our suffering anymore. But, 
very satisfied now that concrete's gone in and nice clean garden too. Thanks to uh, Steve 1 and Steve 2. Steve, Steve 1 doing all the grabbing and Steve 2 doing all the brushing. So um, yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. Give you a little bit of a, uh, pull you in. Bit of a closer look at that concrete now. You can do the thing, you run. The trench run. Yeah. And then there's the manhole too, which has been backfilled in a bit of leftover concrete just to uh, top that off. We'll fill that up with stone when we get to it, but there you go. There you go. Nice shot. So that will be the end of this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell icon. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a great... It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brick Game with Steve and Alex. Very happy to be done with this dig. And we'll see you in the next video with the, all the materials.